Hey guys, I got a special treat for you. Today we're building a new PC, or I should say a Frankenstein part of a PC. I've got a couple new parts, a new processor, I'm carrying over stuff such as my GPU. I got my beer, check, nice little stout, and I'm going to start piecing together after I open up the Amazon box, so stay tuned. Okay, so I've, I've got some new RAM, uh, DDR4, uh, two 8 gig sticks for 16 gigs total. I have a, a new power supply. Here's something cool, the new X570 Gaming Plus motherboard by MSI. I got a Ryzen 3700X CPU and Samsung 970 Evo NVMe M2 hard drive. Like I mentioned, I am carrying over my GPU that I had in my old system. It's a 1070 Ti. It's good enough for the game development I'm doing and the games I want to play. So let's get started. Okay, so I've got everything unwrapped. Uh, I've got it all laid out here that I'm going to share with you. Uh, the hardest part is that I'm actually going to try to put this together while I'm not putting down my beer. <laughs> uh, Just the hard drive and RAM. That's all right. <laughs> You can see that I uh, I also installed some RAM and oh oh no no I'm just joking okay so let's take a look at what I've got okay so I'm gonna be kind of working around the my desk area moving things around as I need to first thing I'm gonna do is make some room for the case a good friend of mine Eric I gave him a shout out in one of my Ranger Quest videos actually loaned me his old case, big enough, I actually have a micro case that I'm using in my old system. I didn't realize the actual significance and sizes of the cases. So thank you, Eric, for sharing. So this is essentially a new kit. And whenever I start one, my biggest concern is that I have all the parts that I need because I always feel like I'm going to forget something or that like this, which was just delivered today, might have a broken circuit crack. This is pretty awesome. So this is the X570 series by MSI. Looks to be in pretty good shape. So this here, play hard, stay silent. It's, that's cool. Okay, so I've got the PC all put together and I wanted to share some stuff. I did upgrade and add another two sticks of eight gigs of RAM. So I'm up to 32 now. I, I can actually notice a difference when I'm doing my video editing. Uh, I started editing this video, found out I needed that extra RAM, so then I've added it. Uh, and then behind here, I've actually got uh, the MSI Dragon Center configuration utility where I can change the, the mode that it's running in. And it looks like this motherboard is actually optimized for some of the games that it's been configured for. Hopefully they add Red Dead Redemption 2 MSI. And over here I've got the different scenarios. Right now I'm I'm recording so I've got it in silent mode, but this actually controls kind of like the turbo speed of the processor. And you can adjust like the fan speeds and how hot it runs. Here's a real-time look at the CPU usage. I'm bouncing between 10 and 20% CPU while I'm recording. That's pretty good. The CPU frequency you can see here, it, it is running a, about where it should be for what mode it's in. I can get a real-time look at the CPU temperature, the CPU fan speed percentage, and then here's the last one is like uh, the true color. I can adjust kind of the screen output display for uh, what kind of media I'm, I'm actually using. So MSI you did a good job. I, I want to see a Red Dead Redemption 2 game mode when that comes out next week. That's why I built this PC. And then I'll maybe be able to start look at what kind of features are in those game modes, how, how I can optimize the gameplay, graphics, and everything for the best performance. All in all, I'm, I'm pretty happy. Windows 10 is behaving. This is Chad signing out. If you like this video, be sure to hit like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.